Hi everybody, today on Poppy Cooks, I'm gonna show you an easy recipe that was perfect for Thanksgiving. If not, it's also perfect for any other day of the week. I'm gonna show you how to make um, cheesy potato rolls. Um, they're a little time consuming, but the end result is so worth it. Yeah, a little loves her bread. All right, let me show you how to make it. All right, thanks for watching. To start, you need one cup of water. That's gonna be about, you know, between 110, 115 degrees. So this is perfect. So to this, you're going to want to add uh, two, two tablespoons of sugar. You're going to mix that up. And then you're going to add one packet of um, active dry yeast, or if you have loose yeast, it's two and a half teaspoons. All right, so now you're going to mix this up. You're gonna let this sit. You're gonna let this sit for a few minutes to activate the yeast. And you're gonna see it's gonna get all foamy on top. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for about five minutes. While you're waiting for the yeast to activate, you're gonna whisk together two eggs with one stick of melted butter that you're allowed to cool so it doesn't cook the eggs. Now you're gonna whisk that up. Next, you're gonna add one teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of onion salt. Now mix that up. Then you're gonna add one cup of cooked potatoes that you mashed up with a fork. Again, you wanna let those cool too before you add them to the egg mixture. And now we're gonna mix this all up. Once it's all incorporated, you're gonna to wanna to add um, some shredded cheese, about a cup and a half, you could use shredded cheddar, Monterey Jack, whatever you want. Today I'm using a Mexican blend. So you wanna put about, about a cup and a half. All right, now we're gonna mix that up. Once this is all mixed, you're gonna transfer this big, cheesy, eggy, potato-y mess into your stand mixer. Along with the egg mixture, I added four cups of all-purpose flour. And then when your yeast looks like this, it's ready to pour in. All right. So you're not gonna to wanna to mix this up. Start slow, lock it in place, and then mix so you have a nice dough ball. Should take a couple minutes. So once your dough is ready, you're gonna just kind of ball it up. It's gonna be pretty sticky and light. You're gonna put it into a bowl that you have some olive oil. Make sure you coat both sides. All right. And then we're gonna wrap this in saran wrap and then we're gonna let it sit for at least an hour, maybe close to two hours, till it doubles in size. Okay, so it's been about an hour and 20 minutes. You can see it's more than doubled in size. So now we're gonna take this out and put it onto a floured surface and cut it into four equal portions like this. Then you're going to turn each of these quarters into six equal sized balls like this. Once you got that done, you're going to want to get your baking dish and spray vigorously with cooking oil. Now we could start arranging the dough. So you want to put them pretty close together, pretty much where they're, they are touching. You got to fit 24 into here. finish this up so at this point you could actually freeze these if you want um, you would have to wrap them very tightly um, you know to bake for a later time you know Thanksgiving maybe <laughs> this is where you could prep ahead um, but you know and then you would want to let them thaw at room temperature for about an hour and then let them rise for about another hour so you'd want to take them out of the freeze for about two hours or so before you bake them um, but right now we're just gonna cover them with the plastic wrap again and we're gonna let them sit for one more hour all right, let's see what they're going to look like. Okay, so they've been rising for about 45 minutes, and I think they've risen enough. Um, so now I'm going to cover them loosely with some foil, and then you're going to bake these for 30 minutes at 350. After a half hour, we're going to pull them out, top them with a little butter, a little bit of salt, and then bake for another 20 minutes. But let's get these in the oven. Okay, so these have been cooking for a half an hour, so I just pulled them out, and now I'm brushing with some melted butter. At this point, you could top with some more cheese, um, or some kosher salt, or nothing at all. The butter should be enough. Lolo, I'm using plenty of butter. I don't need more. Yeah, they still have to cook. They still need, they still need some more time. They're not ready yet. So anyway, so once I finish covering with the butter, we're going to go back into the oven for another 20 minutes at 350. Oh wow, these look fantastic. All right, let's see how they come out. Exactly 20 minutes later, they're ready. Oh, they're crispy on the outside, super tender on the inside. They look amazing. 
No, they have to cool. They're too hot. I just pull them out of the oven. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Patience. Patience. Oh, they're gonna be so good. Well, maybe I will have a Bud Light. Yeah. Good stuff. So once you let them cool for a few minutes, you could present them like this, and then you can just see how they pull apart nice and easy. Oh, yeah. These are gonna be delicious. All right, enjoy everybody.